I think quantum, uh, we're getting some signals in quantum that uh, things are looking up. So I think that, uh, uh, I think it's going to start getting busy in some of the data centers and with the uh, developers working on workflows and various things because I'm sure you saw that story on IBM and uh, what they did with uh, error correction. They came, uh, well, actually, they did beat a supercomputer in some instances, but uh, uh, they came very close to it. IBM thinks that um, they're, they're, they're going to get a program going here where they're trying to get people to concentrate on using 100 qubits and uh, 100 gates deep. And they think that uh, there may be a chance of uh, someone doing some pretty good work on uh, quantum advantage. And I, I think they're right uh, because it was amazing stuff they did with the uh, with that uh, little 127 qubit Eagle processor. Um, they produced some of the longest uh, uh, quantum circuits ever run. So that's something in itself. And they, when uh, they, they essentially had like a back and forth uh, going between the uh, Eagle processor and the supercomputer. And when things got tough for the supercomputer, the uh, little Eagle processor and, and uh, error mitigation just kept cranking along. So it's looking pretty good. Yeah, and INQ uh, brought out something too, didn't they? Yes, they did. Yeah, INQ has been uh, been working on, done a lot of work on uh, quantum machine learning. And that's really a ripe area for quantum because it's pretty native to quantum anyway. And uh, IMQ is even looking at doing some, uh, uh, some working on QML. They've been working on it for about a year uh, for uh, artificial general intelligence at that level. So I think we're going to see exciting stuff. Uh, JP Morgan yeah, it's Chase not just the yeah, more. it's not it's not even just the uh, the technology providers. It's folks like uh, JP Morgan Chase as well. Yeah, JP Morgan Chase and QC Ware did some really interesting things, and it's it's not uncommon with uh, quantum machine learning. But they took an old classical uh, algorithm that uh, JP Morgan Chase had worked on on deep hedging. And there happened to be a bottleneck and in, in kind of in the middle of that. Uh, as you know, classical stuff can only do like one thing at a time. So they were looking at uh, they were looking at uh, futures for, uh, for the hedging algorithm, but they can only do a few at a time. So it's pretty slow. So JP Morgan Chase and QC Ware replaced that that bottleneck within that uh, that algorithm with quantum and with probability distribution. Quantum can see a lot of different futures at the same time. So. So that improved it quite a bit. So I think I think uh, I think finance, in fact, may be one of the early breakouts. So 